you know, either you do it really <laughs> clearly or not at all. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, I still remember that. <laughs> well, uh, can you start from the beginning and play us a little first motif? Where is the end?
sound changes, change, changes? Why does it change? Because of the what we know? Is yes, the overtones, yeah. yeah. You all heard? You, know, you listened sometimes to the overtones of the piano? Who doesn't know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, but do you hear it? Because Skriabin, for example, he said he heard 12. I don't, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. But uh, do, you, do you sometimes just play a chord and listen only to these upper notes or not? Yeah. It's, it's good. It really opens your ears to what is... Uh, it's like the light. You don't see the different colors, but they're there. Right? So it's this very, very subtle, um, subtle way to make it sound better. I have a, I have a question. Uh, in regards to, for example, in the structure that you were talking about, the concerto of form and the solo tutti, uh, it was also in those times, if I'm correct, uh, chords uh, would be arpeggiated. So when when would that be also taken into account in, in the performance in, in this, for example, because you start with chords, is, is the, the the whole chord and when to, for example. Or, or Look, there is no rule anywhere that says you must arpeggiate the chords. It's not, it's not a rule. The only reason they did it on the harpsichord is if you ever try to play on a harpsichord a chord, it's never together. It's just, it's, 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 a, really, it's a terrible instrument. It's uh, impossible. It's, I mean, sometimes it happens, but it's by accident. Right? So you cannot rely to play the chord exactly together. So for this, the way they found was to arpeggiate. We don't have this problem. We can actually play together. If you like, you can do it. It doesn't change the piece. It doesn't make it better or worse. If you want, play it. Fine. It will really not make it... It's not a great interpretive idea. Uh, the question is why they do it. And they do it literally. Go to a harpsichord and try you know, six or seven times to play an accord really together. One note will always be late or early or it will not sound good. So. Yeah. No, it's really true.
that you want of this. Uh, do you want it to be very light and elegant, or do you want it to be a little bit heavier? I... No, heavy move, but not, also not like a...
maybe one, uh, one thing. For me, it's a little bit like this with um, be a bit, uh, just a pianistic thing, a little bit more flexible here. Yeah. So, less of this, but more. Mm -hmm. And maybe also here, we have only 16s, mm -hmm. but when you see the movement,
looking to bring it out a bit is you make a bit accent on the D flat and then everything else. Yeah, yeah. And then we can get Yes. And the same. Yes. And also the left hand super soft. So yes. Thank you. 
was it was much better. Still, uh, maybe a little bit is missing. Of We have in one voice, that's the difficulty, we have it in one voice but not in the others. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, that's why maybe look a little bit and separately to, to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah but it's, it's very good that you could change so quickly. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's not easy. <laughs>